What's up guys, it's Agent Juicy here today and in this video what we are going to look at is the Facebook application and Blackberry Hub a little more closer. Uh, one of my viewers, uh, he messaged me a couple times. His username is GenCFBogus1907. Uh, really weird YouTube name. I don't know how he came up with that. He's from Germany and he asked me to do some Facebook and stuff like that. Uh, so let's just look at this for him. So uh, the BlackBerry Hub, how do you access it? There's something called, I, I would say it's a pre-hub or a notification bar. The actual name is notification bar, but I call it the pre-hub. What the pre-hub basically is in any application, whether or not you be in the browser, once you swipe up, you basically see all of your uh, notifications right there. I call it the pre-hub or whatever you guys want to call it. So like I said, in any application, uh, let's look at the weather. You're in the weather app and you're wondering, uh, I wonder if I got a notification. My notification LED just went off. You just swipe up. So that's the pre-hub. Uh, in the pre-hub, basically, Facebook, Twitter, emails, any sort of notification, updates for your phone, updates for apps, updates for for any uh, anything basically is in the pre-hub as well as in the actual hub. So when you do jump over to the hub now, all you have to do if you're in this screen, a quick way to jump over, it's simple. You just basically swipe up and pull to the right and then you basically get all of your hubs. Uh, one thing I would like to say to everyone here, it's uh, I would have preferred to have like a multi gesture or a multi gesture screen. It, even if you guys could probably retweet this to BlackBerry, this would be a really cool idea. When the person do, does this with one hand, you basically have an extra hand free, right? So then you could basically scroll up and down and see exactly what you have. But you know, it's not that important, it's very minor. So let's go to the hub actually. So what you can see here is notifications, BBM, WhatsApp, uh, my actual Gmail account, my Facebook account, my Twitter account, my calls, and my pin messages. So I have absolutely zero pins. And yeah, that's basically the hub itself. So if you click on notifications, it just shows you all the notifications that you may have from each application. Then if you click to BBM, you're going to see all your BBM messages, which I won't click on because it's going to look exactly like this, just with each person's name. Then if you click on text messages, you're going to see all the text messages there. If you click on WhatsApp, you're going to see all your conversations. You click on your email, you're going to see all your email. So when you pull back from your Gmail application, what happens, you, you go back to the hub. So basically you just pull to the right and you could go that way, or you could pull to the left and you go back to the actual home screen. So let's go back to the actual hub. So in the hub now, what you could do is also as well, you could just simply tap on your Facebook and then you could see all of your Facebook messages and stuff like that, that's built in. And uh, you can't really do much from the actual Facebook application. Uh, meaning from the BlackBerry Hub. The BlackBerry Hub is basically where everything, it's just like a unified inbox for all of your email accounts or any account that you may have. Your LinkedIn is like every single thing that you could possibly think about. Your LinkedIn, your Dropbox, updates, gameplay, game score, anything, BBM messages, BBM alerts, uh, if you even have Google Alerts in your Gmail account, all of those stuff will basically be in the, the inbox. The inbox is basically the one place where everything comes in. So that being said, let's go back to Facebook. So this is your Facebook for the hub. And if you scroll down, you could basically see uh, at the bottom right here, you could see, how do I see that? It basically says search, status, and I'm really trying to get you guys just to see what this says right here and then you could see compose and then to the right of that what you could do is just basically get more options so if you hit this one right here you could see top bottom and stuff like that and this is for all of the social media so let's go to notifications so if, in notifications you get all that stuff and then basically you have the ability to search right here as well so I won't show the whatsapp for like I said you know I don't want like my friends information out on 
the internet, especially if they did not give me permission to put it out. So, and this is basically the Twitter application in the hub. You could compose your, well, you could tweet right here, and then you could compose your tweet, or you could uh, hit this button right, wait, cancel? And then you could hit this one to compose the actual uh, tweet message to someone. So you could basically tweet from here, or you could compose a private message to someone. And the same thing applies for Facebook, like I just showed you as well. Uh, the actual, if you don't want to go to the thing, you just basically go right here and you could just like compose whatever you want in a new message, or you could update your status right here, like doing a Q10 vid. And you could just simply post it, you could tag all that stuff right there. So he specifically asked for Facebook, so let's go out to the actual Facebook application. So this guy, I have no idea who he is, but he added me, but I know after he saw my name on the actual, uh, one of my videos, he decided to add me. Like I said, you add me, you won't get a friend, you won't get accepted. Well, you might get accepted, I won't say you won't. <laughs> um, so let's look for the Facebook application. So this is a Facebook application right here. Uh, one thing to do note that I wanted to let everyone know, if you wanted to update your status on Facebook, all you have to do is basically type Facebook, and you could tap on that, and you could basically do that. Okay, so let's go back to Facebook now. So in the Facebook, what you do have here, you see the black, this is the layout of the actual Facebook uh, interface. The top, when so you pull down, you could basically reload or refresh the actual app then you could basically, if you pull, you can't really get, I'll, I'll, I'll show you this in the BlackBerry video uh, for you guys as well. On the playbook itself, the Facebook app is way different there. But anyway, so right here, it, you, guess you get more stuff, like this basically gives you more uh, options. You have the search bar, your name, your news feeds, your messages, nearby events, close friends, families, uh, networks that you might be on, and if you limited anyone on your profile, then you have account settings and then log off. Uh, anything basically to deal with your actual account, like these settings right here, like help center and all that stuff, privacy settings and stuff, you basically are forwarded to the actual uh, Facebook browser. So that's pretty interesting and very secure as well. So you have on the top here, what you do have, and I'll just show it to you, you have your friend requests, then you have messages or your inbox for messages. This inbox is synced automatically to the BlackBerry Hub. So whatever you have in your inbox, it's gonna be directly synced to your BlackBerry Hub. Um, I won't show you what's in my inbox. Like I said, it has private messages. Okay, so then you have more notifications and stuff like that with basically people who you may or may not have added. So let's scroll down now on the actual thing. So if you hold down on a status, let's say, so you have copy, you could basically open in browser and then you could share this. So let's share it. So then you get basically more options on how to share uh, NFC, Twitter, Kim Kardashian right here. So then scrolling down, this is your news feeds and stuff like that and uh, everything that you need to know. Uh, then you have at the top right here, what you could do is basically do a uh, status photo or check-in. So I'm gonna do, uh, what did I just click, a photo? So then in the photo, what you could do is use a capture photo, choose from gallery, or you could do a check-in, basically it automatically finds your location and stuff like that. So what I was saying, in the BlackBerry playbook, um, the application you could pull down from the top here and you get settings and stuff like that But for settings you actually have to go to the bar right next to it. So I think that's pretty much it for the Facebook application. This is a really long video for Facebook by the way um, So that's pretty much it. Oh one more thing you could basically like your status right here you could comment on it and be like Cool bro there we go and then you could do the same thing for others as well one thing you can't do is uh like share someone like when i mean share like uh basically like you know how you could retweet you can't really 
share it unless you do it by holding down the person's status. So, like I showed you here, and then you could copy it or like just simply just holding it down. And you could share this, like I said, uh, and then you could feature it on Facebook like that. And then you could basically hit post. And then you'd see posting. That's how you actually post the status as well. So that's good that we did that. And then you could pull down to like refresh it and it's loading. And then you could see the share. So that's it for the BlackBerry Q10 Facebook Bla BlackBerry Hub integration. Um, the BlackBerry Hub, in conclusion, is basically a management center for every notification that you do get. So, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. This is Agent Juicy. Uh, I'm out, but before I go, one thing I wanted to let you guys know. I did a, a video for BBM8 versus BBM10. What's the difference is a comparison. Go check that out. Go check my BlackBerry Q10 review out. It's really, really good. It's like one of the best I've seen online, and I'm not saying that because I I did it but it's actually one of the best because I did stuff that no one else spoke about uh, go go as well check out my uh, camera pictures that I posted from the Q10 the sample video that I posted uh, as well I posted like a lot of stuff a lot of stuff and content for you guys to look at this week uh, I usually try to put like five videos out also as well I got an update for any errors that you might have with Instagram and I put up uh, a couple more how to get BBM 8 and BBM 10 uh, for your smartphone with BBM channel. So this is Agent Juicy. I'm out. Hit the like button, guys. Take care. Bye.